Hello everyone. This is a small video on different types of alluvial soil present in the Northern Plains. This topic is an extension of the video chapter 2 of class 7. In case you haven't checked that out, I recommend you do so. And to those of you who have, you know what I mean. So with no further ado, let's begin. The whole of Northern Plains are formed by the alluvial deposits brought by the rivers. And these rivers are nothing but the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. Now these plains extend approximately 3200 km from east to west and the width of it from north to south is 150 to 300 km. And the depth of the alluvium deposits varies between 1000 to 200 meter which is 1 to 2 km. Now from north to south these can be divided into three major zones, the Bhabar, the Tarai and the alluvial plains. The alluvial plains can be further divided into Khadar and the Bhangar. Now let's try to understand this Bhabar zone. If you look at this map, this is the Shivalik hill. And when there are hills, they are bound to have slopes. And when there are slopes, there are in between cuts. In between the hills, there are cuts, deep cuts, which are in V shape. Now these cuts are generally made by the rivers that come from top, that is from the Himalayas. With the speed at which they flow, they bring along heavy rocks. So it is just a narrow belt of 8 to 10 kilometers. That's it. And this zone is called Bhabar. Now below the Bhabar zone that is here exactly here from 10 to 20 km of width lies the Tarai zone. The width of it is 10 to 20 km and this is the Tarai zone. So in this region the rivers re-emerge. Now what do I mean by that? As I said when the rivers flow from the Himalayas through the Shivalik hill they bring along huge amount of rocks. As a result the streams of the river disappear into those rocks. I mean just think about it. If there is a rocky bed and you pour some water on it the water is just going to disappear. The water is going to be in the deep level of that region and because of this the same water rises to the surface in the Terai region where the alluvium soil gives way to the water to come out of the clay and the permeable silt. So the soil of this Terai region is usually marshy. It means watery and muddy and hence it is also very luxurious for growth of natural vegetation and houses a variety of wildlife. So usually you will find this Tarai in the region of Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. They are also found in most of the eastern region such as West Bengal, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Assam. And there the reason is due to the Brahmaputra river. Now below the Tarai zone it consists of old and new alluvial deposits known as the Bhangar and Khadar. So when the river comes down from Himalaya and it crosses the Bhabar and the Tarai region, when it comes down to the plains, you see the green color portion in this map just next to that river bed that is in blue color. Those green color is the Khadar which is the fresh deposit of alluvial soil. And the reason it is fresh is because it continuously flows with the river it, and it is not stable. It gets renewed every year. And then we go a little further from the river bed, you can see the brown color portion which is nothing but the Bhangar, the oldest form of the alluvial soil. So if you look at this picture, it is clearly evident as to what is Khadar and what is Bhangar. So Khadar is the soil or the zone that is nearer to the river bed and the Bhangar is a little away from it and that therefore it is the old depositional because over the year it has been formed and Khadar is a renewing sort of a soil. It gets renewed every single year with the flow of the river. So with this I hope now you are well educated about the various alluvial soil in the northern plains. If any of the concept is not clear please leave a comment below and I shall see if I can make a separate clip on it. So hope you like this video and I will see you next time.